where you have birthed a child. Amen. Is that right? Amen. But the world feels as though it's all right. But it's so all wrong, isn't it? Yes. It's so all wrong. Amen. But we thank God for the mothers, true mothers. Is that right? Not those that have switched out and say it want to be something else now. Amen. Is that right? But we thank God for them. And may God help those that think they are men and they are truly women. Yes. And thank God and pray God and help the men that think they are women and let them know that they are truly men. Yes, they are, Is that right? See, we got to say these things because, you know, you see on television where, I know y'all have seen it, when they were talking about some drug or something and they had the two black men up there and then they came to dinner and they sat down and then at the end they kiss it on the bridge mm -hmm. or wherever. Some of y'all have seen it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I know you have. Is that right? Yeah. One want to be a mom and one want to be a dad. God made a man to be what he is, made a woman to be what she is. So a lot of times people don't want to hear these things. Yeah. But these, these are the things that Hollywood and people are putting over the air and then you think the preachers can't say nothing about it. No, it don't work that way. Is that right? So we're glad. We thank God for all of you that are here. Get the 15th chapter of Romans. 15th chapter of Romans. <clears throat> we thank God for you. We got for Sister Moore and her grandchildren and daughter and all of you that are here present. We're so glad. Glad to see all the family. Glad to see all the brothers and sisters. I pray that God will bless and the other brothers and sisters, wherever they may be, that they will uh, strive to uh, want to assemble themselves together. Because COVID has done a lot of a lot of things. You know, it has done a lot of things, has it? It has done a lot of things within the family. I was reading something the other day, a young girl, 15 year old, she died two days after she found that she had. So those of us that have dealt with it or been around or had it, because some of us have dealt with it and have been around and had it, that the God of heaven has blessed us. God has blessed us. We haven't lost our lives. He has spared us a little while longer. Ain't that a blessing? That's why, that's why we're always able to give thanks unto God. Uh, for all things yeah. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I don't know where, where my grandson is. He ain't in there. But I, I said when, he, when I see him in there. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And good things. Good things happen. Yeah. Good things happen. Good things. Yeah. All right. 15 chapter Romans, beginning verse 1. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Well, you're strong and bear the infirmities of the weak. Why? And not to please ourselves. Not to please ourselves. Let every one of us, let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. You hear what he says? Please his neighbor to the good of edification. Try to do what you can to edify each other to the good, whereas people will be encouraged. Huh? That's what it's that's what it's all about. Read the book. But even Christ pleased not himself. Even Christ didn't please himself. But as it is written, what? The reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. Amen. Christ didn't please himself. So we have to strive, is that right? Yeah. To want to please the Lord in all things. What verse is that, Rick? Verse 4. Verse 4, read. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Now listen. Listen to this. Whatever was written aforetime. What was it written for? Were written for our Lord. So what we got to believe, what's in the scriptures, it was written before we got here. It was written before time. The scriptures say how that uh, the men that wrote and had something to do with the scriptures, they were moved by God. All scriptures was given by what? All scriptures. All of them. Let, let, let's, let's clarify that. All scriptures is given by the inspiration of God. Okay. God inspired, God moved up 
upon all the holy men to write what they're writing, what they've written. They didn't just write it on their own. They were inspired. They were instructed by God. So whatever is in scripture is from who? It's from God. And it's from God, you know it's right. If it's from God, it's right. Regardless, there may be things that we may be doing, there may be things that we may be placing, we're going, or whatever the case is. When the scripture, when the scripture says thus and thus and so, we can't change that. Amen. We can't alter the scripture. If the scripture says, don't say, well, that's your interpretation. That is, that's just like today's society we live in, men with men, women with women. They say all that. People don't know what they are, who they are, all these things going on. But the, what did the scripture say? Amen. What did the scripture say? So the scripture is against it. Amen. It's not for it. Though society loves to lift it up, say it's all right, it's no problem. You got big people that, that you know, has a lot of uh, influence on people that are doing things. And people are looking up to young children, looking up to them saying, well, she's doing it, why can't I do it? He's doing it. Why can't I do it? Because you got the influential people that are part of it because they ain't been born again. See, they got a problem because they ain't been born again. See, they still got that same, that's that the wrong spirit operating. So they're going to go for it to satisfy what? Their flesh. But we got to believe God how? According to the scripture. Is that right? If the scripture says it's a sin, it's a sin. If the scripture says it's all right, it's all right. Regardless to what it is. It doesn't matter. It may be things that we may be doing right now. And when we found out in the scripture that is incorrect, you know what we got to do? We got to pray God, Lord, help me. Because I can't make it with you continuing doing what I'm doing. Amen. We're not going to make it into the kingdom doing what we want to do. Amen. We got to do it like God said do it. Mm -hmm. And that's all right. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? What is that? James 2 and verse 8. Let's hear it. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. If you do what? If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. If you fulfill. Give him chapter and verse, Rick. James 2 and verse 8. James 2 and 8. <clears throat> if ye fulfill the royal law. If you fulfill the royal law. According to the scripture. According to what? The scripture. That which is written before the fourth chapter of the learning. He that believeth on me how? As the scripture. Is that all right? Yes. We have to believe according to the scripture. Yes. If the scripture said, if the scripture say you can do it, you can do it. Yes, and you ain't got no problem with it. But if you're doing something the scriptures against, we'll go to hell for that. Yes, yes. You want to know what the consequences are? We'll go to hell. You ain't gonna put it, be put in purgatory. You ain't gonna be put over here in time out. Yes, You'll be put in hell. As, more, as the word say, cast into. This, this, is, this is why this is so important. That's what we're trying to miss. That's the saints and friends. That's the bottom line, what we're trying to miss. That's the place we're trying not to go. Now, I don't see no hell. No, you don't see no hell. This is by faith. But you better believe God. You see the sun, don't you? Amen. You see the moon, you see the stars, you see the wind, you see all these things. Amen. Oh, it's a place prepared. And God is allowing us, giving us a chance now before that time comes, before we run out of time. Because you know, we all are going to run out of time. Amen. Do Are we aware of that? How God strong y'all, how handsome y'all, how pretty you think you may be. How much money do you think you got? You're going to run out of time. Yes, sir. Nah. So you're going to leave time here. Yeah. You're going to leave time. Nah, sir. And then spring all over, right over into eternity. Because nah. when we leave here, that's our destination. It will be determined where we are in spend eternity. It depends on what's going on right here. What is that? If ye fulfill the royal law, if ye fulfill the royal law according to the 
according to the scripture. I shall love thy neighbor as thyself. It will fulfill it according to the scripture. And I thank God. One thing that God wants everybody to do is love. That, that, that he, he want everybody to love. Love one another. That's you right. know, if you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not baptized. If you have the Holy Ghost, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, God still wants to love. You know why? Because God so loved the world. And the world was in bad shape when Jesus came. Amen. The world was in a terrible shape when Jesus came. Thank God for him loving us enough to send his son, his son obedient enough to die and shed blood so that we, is that all right? Thank you, Jesus. May have a right to the tree of life. That's a blessing, isn't it? Amen. Don't we have something to give thanks to God for? Yes, yes, sir. But he said, if he fulfill the royal law, according to the scriptures, yes. thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. If you fulfill the royal law, glory. Wait a minute. What kind of law is that? The royal law. This law is royal. Yes. This law is royal. This law has majesty. This law has dominion. This law has greatness. This law is above every law. Ain't that amazing? If you fulfill it. See, whatever comes out of the scripture, that's the royalty. That's the royalty. You know, you know, uh, I know sometimes we don't we don't follow up on it. But you know you got the royal, the royal family. That's in Britain. You know, you got prestige, high family that's in the United States, but you know, the royal family, they call it royal family. You know, the children have to dress a certain way. They have when they when they're being exposed to to the world on the TV, they got to stand a certain way. They can, it's certain things they just got to do because that royalty is supposed to be setting the standard. Is that all right? Yes, so here we are. Uh, uh, we, we are. We are adopted. Glory to God. We are adopted into the royal family. Glory to God. We got to serve. We got that. We just can't act like anybody. We just can't do like everybody else do. We just can't go everywhere everybody else go. Because we deal with royalty that comes from the King of Kings. Lord of Lord. Yes, Lord. We deal with royalty. Amen. So y'all just study the natural royal family and see how they re how they react and how they Amen. do in the things that sometimes they do things out of the order. The kids might do something out of the order. They might just stick the thing up the nose and just wiggle it. They don't want them to do that because wrong. They just don't want that to look good. Right. But you got to understand what they are. They're still children. See, the Lord know that we might make mistakes. He know we might slip, and, but we're still part of the royal family. They don't dismiss them out of the family because he gave up his nose. Is that right? They just correct him. They don't like it because they know the news media will take it and say, this, 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 that, dump him his nose. <laughs> you know, y'all know how the media are. Yes. Is that right? So then, if the media will do that with them, and we say we are of the royal family, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, and who we are, who we are, we just can't act and do any kind of way because people are watching. I thought he said he would. I thought he said he was of that royal family. That's what we got to. We got to be mindful and careful. Is that right? Yes, sir. You might still thank God for the royal law because it gives us leeway just in case I do slip. He said, just man fall seven times, but he got to get back up. Amen. See, the Lord, he allows us to slip and fall. Amen. Now, don't listen. Don't nobody in here or anywhere slip and fall on purpose. Now that you're trying to sue somebody. And then now you're lying. You know, some people see, they see the west side and they go down there and fall anyway. Because they want some money. Huh, uh, uh. But, but did you see the sign was there? I didn't see the sign. You see, whenever you do it wrong, you got to lie. 
it, it's, it's always some lying. But when we deal with royalty, we ain't trying to make a mistake. We just being careful about what we do. Is that right? Yeah. What he said? If you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. If you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Well, you, 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 you do well. Well, see, one thing about it, when you deal with the royal law, if we love one another as we love who? Love one another, your neighbor as you do who? Thyself. Uh oh. Now, let's look at that for a little bit. Love, I think, mean, read it again. Let's do the royal law thing. Amen. If you fulfill the royal if law. If you fulfill the royal law. According to the scripture. According to the scripture. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. Love your neighbor. How? As thyself, you do well. Do we have the work to do? Love your neighbor. Who's in front of you? Who's in the back of you? Who's on the side of you? You know your neighbor. Huh? Is that right? That's amazing how the Lord is saying that and said that you fulfill the Lord. You do well. You do good. If you, but if, if you love one another as yourself, it's none of us in here will expose anything to anybody that will bring hurt to ourselves. Or shame. Is that right? Because you try to keep all that concealed. Because you don't want nobody to think that you are you are this way, or you are that way, or you are whatever. That's why honesty is the greatest thing, is one of the greatest things that I love so well. I love honesty. Because when you're honest, you just open. And you, you just open, and you just want to be straight, just, according to the will of God. Honesty. Is that right? But you know, when you love yourself, you're not going to do nothing to hurt yourself. No, you're not going to do nothing to hurt yourself. Nothing. nothing. So then you look around you, look at your neighbor. Even when you're driving on that man that you, that pass by and give you a bird and go on around you. That's your neighbor. You're just acting foolish. Love <laughs> Love me. He said, love your neighbor. And he said, pull up to him and look at him and, and, and roll your window down and puff him. No, love your neighbor and yourself. Do on others, you would have them do unto you. See, this is the this is royalty. This is this is one of the greatest things, saints and friends, that's missing in the world today. People talk about love, but about real, real love. I mean, I, you hear so much about people are killing and shooting and stuff. That's why God, may God bless you, young people. Y'all stay close to your grandparents, your parents, do what they say, do. Because out there in that world, out there, they they shooting in the mall, they shooting in the restaurant. They shooting on the bus. They hijacking buses. They, I mean, just like every every day you hear about. It. We show sure need the Lord protection. I know I do. I that prayer saying, "Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil." I need deliverance. I need deliverance because it don't matter who it is. Because things are going on, and we need the Lord protection. You all. Nah. You really do. You just don't know. You just don't know. What he says, Rick? If you fulfill the royal law according uh, to the scripture, according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. What you do? You do well. Yes. But, but, conjunction, but, if you have respect to person, if you have respect to person, you commit sin. Wait a minute. That's that. We got to be careful, y'all. Because you know what he's saying? He's like, I got respect for person. You coming in in a suit. And he coming in all just not looking well. And I tell him, sit over there on my footstool somewhere. And tell you to sit in the front row. The Lord want both of them to sit on the front row. <laughs> the, Lord, the Lord want everybody. Yes, sir. Man, you ain't going to. Lord, help us all. Because sometimes we as a people, 
We can have, we got to be careful. We can have respect of prayer. Yes, sir. Amen. It can easily, it can, listen, it can easily happen. Amen. It can easily happen. So we want to be careful in our transaction and what we do. You know, you treat you treat people kind. Amen. You know? I mean, it's like, for instance, I drive a bus. Now, if a person get on there and they soil or they, uh, I can't say, well, Lord, because I, 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 I got a job to do as a bus driver. They can't get on the bus. I, it, it may be rain, it may be cold. They are soiled, they clothes messed up. I have a respect person, I'm just doing my job. Sir, you got to get cleaned up. I can't let you on the bus because you know what? I'm putting other people in harm's way. So you got to know how to, to decipher, you know, when, when it comes to that. You know, now if he's somewhere and, you know, so I'm giving this man something to eat and this man, because he dressed a certain way up and he's not looking good, I don't give, not give him nothing. No, you should respect the person. You know, but when it comes to certain things, even on your job, is that right? You got to be careful. Is that right? It's not saying that you show them respect to but you got a job to do, so you got to do according to what written in your code of your policy. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You got a policy. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to us just natural people, when we deal with people, we want to try to have respect for, for everybody, not show respect to the person. Because God don't, God don't show respect to the person to us. Mm -hmm. Read the book. But if you have respect to persons, you commit sin. Well, he said you commit sin. And I'm convinced of the law as a transgressor. And see, now you're convinced of the law that you are a transgressor. Well, whosoever shall keep the whole law. And do and then do what? And yet offended in one point. What is, what is it? He is guilty of all. See what the scripture says? All right. Well, he that said, do not commit adultery. Now, the same one said, do not commit adultery. Said said also. Do not kill. Amen. Same thing. Not you, 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 if you do what? Now if thou commit adultery. If you commit adultery. Yet if, if thou kill. And if you kill. Thou art become a transgressor of the law. Well, e e either way. See, God is just. Amen, see, we have a tendency to say, well, this, you know, you know how we sort things out. So, well, don't do that. But it, it, you didn't do that much. And some people say, I hear people say, a, a white lie. What is a white lie? Is that a justifiable lie? Yes, sir. Uh, is there a little lie and a big lie? Yes, sir. There are certain lies that cause certain circumstances, and certain, it, it causes certain things to happen yeah. differently. Yeah. But a lie is a lie. Yes, sir. I couldn't come to my dad and say, well, Dad, I just told you a little lie. I wasn't, it wasn't a truth, but it was just a little lie. A lie is a lie. Amen. But we want to, we like to measure things out. Don't we? As people, we like to, but well, that wasn't Jay. He said that wasn't that wasn't that much. That wasn't that bad. But it's still, it's gonna affect somebody and something. You got to understand, a lie is gonna affect something, somebody, something. I don't care how big lies all of it. Is that right? So the Lord wants us to be truthful straight across the board. What did he say? So speak ye and so do. So speak and so do. As they as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. It's gonna be the judge by the law of liberty. He shall have judgment without mercy. He's gonna have judgment without mercy. The Lord is having mercy now, but he will have judgment without mercy. See, that's why the scripture says this. He said, judge yourself. That you won't be judged. If everybody, now honestly, if everybody just look at itself, don't don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look at your neighbor now. Just look deep within yourself, because you know it's kind of like the, the 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 woman that was caught in adultery, and how that and he said according to the law of Moses she should be stoned, but then Jesus wrote on the ground, didn't he? Is that right? And then it's. Scripture teaches us, you know, he had without sin, let him cast a stone. And Jesus dealt with the inner man, the inner woman. See, you got to look at your inner self. Don't look at nobody. Look, search yourself out. See well. Look at yourself, really. If you look at yourself, call, call you what you are. 
look at you for what you are. So I'm not doing that according to the law. I'm this way, I'm that way. I did tell a lie. I did do this. You got to be honest. That's why I say you be honest with yourself. And when you be honest with yourself, then you, you, you're better off. You don't mind when you're honest. I'm going to call it what it is. I can't call it nothing else but what it is. But we try to find justification in doing things within ourselves. That's why we, that's why we try to sometimes blame other people. Because you, you want to justify yourself in something, but then you got to blame somebody else to justify what you're doing. No, look at yourself and don't put no blame on no one but you. And when we do that, then we're better off. Look at yourself. A man may want to blame his wife. Why wife may want to blame others. Look at yourself first. Look at yourself. Examine who? Examine yourself first. Look at your problem. Amen. Look at what's causing this within you. Amen. Is that right? You got to look at yourself. Amen. Then when you look at yourself honestly, you know, somebody be looking in the mirror and say, I'm this way, I'm that way. No. Call for call yourself what you You skinny, just say I'm skinny. You're scorned. You real fat, just say I'm, I'm real fat. I got so much this fat on me. You don't walk around telling me I got a bunch of fat around him. You don't do that. Because you love yourself. You, you try to go put that big old shirt on that big old. <laughs> No, we try to we try no, we try we try to hide things, thank you, Jesus. We try to hide things, Joshua, about ourselves. Instead of being open about ourselves. See, a person, a person is just, just big or skinny. See, I'm an old skinny boy. I know I'm skinny. I need to gain some weight. I need to, I say, I'm fat, I'm just, I need to lose about hundred pounds. Person they they sell. But they talk, you they talk, I can talk about myself all day long. When I thought to him, yeah, he's so fat, look at him. You have to look at yourself. Uh, you know, I'm just using that small term. Yeah. But there's so many other things that we look at about people. Yeah. Yeah. She's so mean, and you were just mean just at, at, at the drive through <laughs> You done left the drive through you done got to work, and now you calling somebody mean. But you done left the lady at Dairy Queen <laughs> upset. But see, but but see, now you done got the job then. She's so mean, but you, what about you? And if you look at yourself, say, you know what? I was just mean. I was real rude at that lady at Dairy Queen. She messed my heart up and she said she was sorry, but I was still rude. Yeah. You know how we can be now. Yes, Let's be real with how we can be. Yeah. That, see, that's the part about life you're talking about. We gotta look at who? Yeah. Ourselves. And try to bring self under control. Try to bring self in your own bubble and you know and look at yourself. A lot of times people don't like to look at themselves. They only want to put the same up. Don't we? Can I get it? They're gonna say something today. Can I get an amen? <laughs> truth is truth. That's all. all right, so. Read the book. When you shall when you shall have judgment without mercy. That have shown no mercy. Well, you're going to have judgment without mercy. Them that have not shown no mercy. And mercy rejoices against judgment. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Back over in Let's Romans. give it in Rome, right. Back over so in much. Romans 15 and verse 4. Let's hear it, Rick. For well, whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Uh huh. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded yeah. one toward yeah. another. Grant you to be like-minded one toward another. You know, as brothers and sisters, strive to be that way, even among people, you know, that you come in contact with every day. But I know sometimes people, you know, different ones of you that have different jobs, and you run into people, and people aggravate you. Yeah, people aggravate you. Sometimes people get you so upset. Nah. I always, I be praying, I be trying to rip, y'all, I be trying to stay in control of myself. Nah. But sometimes she act so foolish sometimes. Is that right? Nah, but she got to be, with me, I got, with, with all of us, I'm just talking about myself, 
I got to be real careful because see, I drive buses. I don't know what people bring on the buses in them boot bags. We done had driving to get urine thrown on them, coffee thrown on them, donuts thrown at them. I always tell the driver that I'm trying to have to listen. Bend, but don't break. Because when you run and deal with people, they ain't just talking about church folks. You have, you have a real kind of church folks too. Is that right? But people out there ain't got no God. They ain't thinking about Jesus. They ain't, ain't saying nothing about Jesus this morning. They already mad from the day before yesterday. And you say the wrong thing to them. You ain't never throwing gas on a spot. So I always teach my people in terms of training. And I know some of them can't do like I do because they don't have the power I have. Y'all hear what I said? Some of them can't do what I do like I do it because they don't have the power I have. I got royal power. They just can't do like I do. But I try to tell them, Jonathan, things to, to, to make help them that they could probably do. Is that right? Because I have people talk to me about other drivers. Say, she just don't know. People on you get on the wrong side of somebody, she don't know. This is going to happen. We got some pretty tough drivers out there as David and young. But you got to know how to deal with people. I'm just talking about people out there and just like we got to know we got to we got, we got know how to deal with church folk too. You shall receive power. After what? After that the Holy Ghost is coming. See, I, let me tell you, I have the Holy Ghost. I have the Holy Ghost. So I have a power, you all, that works within me that other people don't have. <laughs> I, I'm just telling you. So I can serve I get aggravated. I get. I remember one time I got so aggravated. My oldest daughter was on the bus with me. She was a young little girl then. She was really young. And I, and I went. I didn't cuss nobody out. Mm -hmm. Let you know that straight. But it's just the way I said what I said. And my daughter was there. I called the guy. I said, hey, hey, man, come here, come here, one minute. I wanted her to hear me, and I apologized because I got to be there. I'm dealing with royalty now. Yeah, yeah I am supposed to be somebody she looks up to, and I'm acting a certain way. I got to straighten her out with me, so I made sure I got him straight so she would be at ease. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, daddy, daddy, this ain't, he, I, he just got under my skin. But I got him under my skin. That's it. Yeah. And got her straight, too. Because yeah. children, they watch stuff, they don't say nothing, but they hold it. Am I right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, they do. You may not think so, but they watch all kinds of stuff. They watch stuff you don't think they watch. <laughs> I'm just talking about, about you. I ain't just talking about, I ain't talking about TV or anything. I'm just talking about yeah. you as an individual. So I straighten that out. But I'm saying these things happen, but I have enough power to do that. Yeah. See, it takes power to do certain things that we do, you all. That's why we recommend the Holy Ghost to everybody. Seek God. Seek righteousness. Young people, seek the Lord. Yeah, I know if the Lord was 12 years old, he had it. Y'all, y'all, y'all can receive what God is. Is that right? Yeah, you can receive it. Now, you may be different, look, you may be different teenagers in different terms, but at least you, you're in the royal family. Ain't that a blessing? Yeah. See, that's the good thing about it. Don't, don't all children don't be worried about what you think about it. Yeah, you know what? People want to be like them. They go in a special room and eat all kinds of stuff. And certain things that they eat. Ooh, I sure would like to see what they do. They close the curtain on <laughs> Shut up. Shut down. But see here, we, the scripture says, ye are seated that sit on a hill. Didn't they say so? A light that cannot be hid. So we just have to strive to live a life where people can see a difference. Just like setting the lights went out. <laughs> but we got to be able to sit there and sit on the hill. Somebody maybe going to rain and stuff. But thank God. Thank God it ain't night there. Thank God he got the greater, got the royal, the royal light outside. Still shining. All right, what you got, Rick?
Yeah. Now the God patient and consolation grant me to be like minded, like -minded one, to one, another, one toward another. According to according to Christ Jesus. According to Christ Jesus. That he may that he may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we do it so we can glorify God, even the Lord. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Read the book. Wherefore receive you one another. Receive one another. As Christ also received us A to the glory of Amen. God. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Receive one another. Try to be helpful one another. Try to be helpful to others. You know. You know. I, you know is that all right? I would say to my wife. I said, Gwen, you know you were something. She always, she always thinking about people, and trying to look out for people. She ain't just started it neither since she retired. She ain't just, she, I mean, she's doing that for like a year. Sometimes it wasn't for her. I, certain things I wouldn't have done. I'm just, I'm just being, you know, that's true. But because of her, here I am doing certain things. That's a blessing, though, isn't it? It's good to do good, y'all. Read the book. Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision yes. for the truth of God yes. to confirm the promises made unto the Father. Uh -huh. And that the Gentiles might glorify God for, for his mystery. Yes. At, for his mis, for his mercy. Mercy. As it is written. What? For this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name. And again I said, Rejoice. Rejoice. Ye Gentiles. With his people. Amen. And again, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All ye Gentiles. Yes. And 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 lose and loud and loud and, and lose him. Yes. All ye people. Amen. And again, Isaiah said, There was not a root of Jesse, there shall be a root of Jesse, and he shall and he shall raise and he shall and he shall rise to range over the Gentiles. In him shall the Gentiles trust. Amen. Read. Now the God of hope fill you all fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Amen. The joy of hope fill you with what? With joy, oh, and, joy peace and peace in in believing. In believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you. Y'all can sit down. That's good. Just a little words of encouragement. May God bless all of you and keep you as our prayers. May the Lord bless you with joy and peace and believe. Believe the Lord. Young people, old people, whatever age you are, just ask God to help you. He'll help you. He's there to help you. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. Amen. So we're grateful to God for all of you. May God bless you and keep you as our prayers. Uh, we thank God for being here on this day. I just want to ask Brianna to stand. That's Brianna right there, y'all. Those of you that don't know him, that's Brianna. Mm -hmm. he's, that's my grandson, my oldest grandson. Mm -hmm. um, he's a Sunshine, he has a Sunshine State Scholarship. We thank God for his academics and the things that he is, he's done in uh, technology, engineering, or mathematics. So he's yes. very good in, in those areas. Yes. And we thank God for him. May God bless you, son. I'm glad for yes. him and Absolutely. I'm glad for all you young people, those of you that have achieved things that I may not know about. But may God bless you all also, all of you. Right. you young men, may God continue to bless you. And we just as we said, we thank God for Brian, young, young, young ladies, young Ladies that's growing up, may God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. My grandgirls and my grandsons and your grands and your children, may God ever be with them. May you will do well by taking heed to what is said and doing what's right in an evil world. And I know sometimes it gets it gets tough because that, that peer pressure is something, isn't it? I mean, I know it. I mean, it's, it's peer pressure everywhere. We, you ain't the only one that had peer pressure. Ask your grandma, ask your mom and dad if they ever have peer pressure. It might not have been like yours, but they had it. <laughs> Is that right? Amen. Amen. So, and sometimes it, 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 we have to understand that 
being young people, you can't get everything that everybody else has. I couldn't afford to buy no, none of my daughters no two and three hundred dollar shoes and different stuff. You know, I'm just saying. But that peer pressure make a child just feel unwanted. But remember, your parent, parent, be, be honest and true. Say, son or daughter, I can't afford it. Just be straight up with them. I can't afford that. It's too much money. We got to eat before we start talking about buying some shoes. You're going to wrap up in a bag and walk around here. So it's, you got to put those values in place. So we're, we're grateful, like you said. We're grateful. And may God ever bless you all. And may God ever continue to uh, bless you, Breon. And I know your mother and dad is proud of you. Just like I was proud of your mama. She was the first one. They got a scholarship out of my nine children. His mother, which is Sabrina, he got a scholarship long years ago. <laughs> so it was just, you know, I was proud of her, you know, when I told him, I said, I told him, I can't afford no school. But I've had two or three of my children that graduated from college, got degrees, some of them had, you know, got different awards and different things. And I, my, I just couldn't afford it. I had to cheer them, but I couldn't afford, I, certain things I couldn't afford. But God blessed them. Mm -hmm. I told them, I said, God will bless you. And God did bless them, and God is still blessed. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. So we thank God for all our time. Yeah. And I know, and I know we're alone, but we're, we're certainly proud of, of you, Breon, and all of you, uh, Sister Jennifer. Yes, I would also like to uh, piggyback on that because I've seen Breon. I was one of the first ones to hold him when he was born. I know my sister went through very much, and I do want to acknowledge her because even though she got that two-year scholarship for life, but about very many transitions, she still has been a light to me and my siblings. Being the first who have gotten the scholarship and then um, went on to work so hard for her children, Breon being the first, and maintaining um, her love for Christ. And I just want to acknowledge her as being a strong mother on Mother's Day. Being a great example, she always is willing to help me and my siblings. I'm always just, just saying, hey, do you need me to help you? What, what can I do to help? So I do want to thank God for her because of the day she got baptized and the day I received the gift of the Holy Ghost. And I, I love her so much. Many people thought we were twins from after school. But I do want to acknowledge her and see, um, just thank God for how God has brought her all this way. And and helping her children, and yeah. it's just a blessing to see them being raised, and then her two oldest children being filled with this precious gift of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. that's the more, yeah. even the more valuable than their education. Mm -hmm. Her prayer, perseverance, and different ups and downs, but God yet continues to make a way for her. And so I would not like to acknowledge her. I would also like to thank God for my parents because they, um, like my dad said, we knew that they couldn't afford it. And a lot of times we wouldn't ask them for many things. We would just trade things along, whether it's clothes or whatever. But I do want to acknowledge my mom because she is going to be retiring. And we saw her work through so hard to provide for us. And God has blessed me. They said there's two or three of us graduated from college. There's, there's six of us who have graduated from college, three of us who have received, um, I think it's two, me and Jonathan, received the graduate degrees, but either way it goes, we are just humble. I also want to acknowledge my brothers because they've been great examples, not only in the church, but in the community. And um, Jonathan and Joe, um, he being the head coach of Breakers High School track team, him and Joshua was a, also in the coach there as well. They are number one in the city, number one in our district, number one in the region, and they went on to the state this past weekend and won fourth place in the boys' division. So I do want to thank God for them and him. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. That's, that's, that's great. I thank God for everything. God is good, isn't he? Yes. God is good. All the glory belongs to God. All the glory. All the glory. All the glory. Listen to Jennifer talk about two or three. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, I just I say things. You know, I'm not, I I don't have the all the total number, but I can say you know 
I ain't gonna take off my wife. She went back to school and got her A. Amen. Yeah. 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 Now that I say, I thank God for all of my children, my wife, and all of their accomplishments. And thank God for all of you, your children, and your accomplishments yeah. also. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we're grateful to God for you. May God bless you and keep you. God bless you. I don't hold you in the moment. And we thank God for you. Anything else?